here to make up for you. Just here to say that, uh, you know how very lucky you You act like coming here was your choice. It wasn't what you felt obligated to come. You harbored some delusion that this cancer would wipe the slate clean for you. I bet this therapist of yours probably even put that inkling into your head with his flowery words. Not that you ever needed help being foolish. I'm fucking dying! We're all dying! Have you already forgotten about your mother, boy? The woman who you abandoned and left to die. Any pity for you died with her. Does this therapist of yours have you feeling special because you're miserable? Well, allow me to break the news to you. Misery is easy. Anyone can feel it. To show he's not courageous or a testament to your strength. Do you want to know what strength is? Strength is having the fortitude not to show it. It's to be able to hide your misery so well that no one knows it's there. And that way, the people you do love, they don't have to put up with your weakness. Life is about endurance. And when you love someone enough, that's what you do. You endure. You don't burden them with the things beyond their control. You think it takes courage to die? That's malarkey. What takes courage is living. Look, I didn't mean to abandon mom. I just couldn't. And watch her wither? Yeah, you're right. What, that would have been too selfless of you, wouldn't it? God forbid you comfort your dying mother at the expense of your own comfort. You don't know. Oh, yes, know. because you're the only one who lost someone? I forgot. Spare me your excuses. She's the only one that wanted to hear them. She asked about you every day, constantly inquiring when you were coming to see her. Rachel was the only woman I have ever cared enough about to lie to. And the lie I did, I assured her you would be by her bedside any day now. But of course, you never came. You wouldn't even return her phone calls. I assured her you must have been very busy. You know, towards the end, she, she vented to me her fear that you didn't love her. And once again, I just assured her that was not the case. You make quite the liar out of me, boy. No, I never asked you to lie for me. Oh, the truth would have been so much kinder, wouldn't it? I didn't want her to see me, all right? Look, I know I've been a disappointment to you both. I've made my peace with that. But you don't know what I went through for you two. I didn't do a lot of lying myself, and I never blamed you for any of it. I had to fake so much for you guys, more than you believe. If you're going to call me out for not being there, fine. I wasn't. It was too damn hard. I didn't want our last time together to be some hallmark moment where we tried to save face for one another. I didn't want our last time together to be a lie, and that is more than you can say. So you want to hide behind the truth. Is that it? Suit yourself. I hope the truth is kinder to you than it's been to me. You know, the truth, the truth tends to be rather harsh. You realize that you don't love your son even though you're supposed to. You do lose the person you manage to love. You hold their hand all the while as they wither and die and add insult to injury. She's only ever able to think of the son you couldn't love. He's on her mind until the very end. And then you bury her alone. And you're just left. Get it. You didn't deserve it. You know what? I'm glad I came. I think I might actually get you now. If I'd have been in your shoes, I'd probably be an asshole too. Oh, and don't feel too bad, Pops. I never managed to love you either. You know, it's been really hard out living your mother. Fortunately, I don't think I'm going to have any qualms outliving you. Bye, Dad.
It's open. You're Barry, right? Yeah, thanks for the directions. No problem. See that paper over on the table, Barry? Yeah. Do me a favor, read it off to me, would you? Okay. What is this? Nothing all that interesting. This needs to be updated, is all. Go ahead and grab that pen, too. You're gonna need it. Alright. Uh, you want me to just start from the top? That'll be fine. Smoke a cigarette. Cross it off. Lose virginity. Cross it. Do something for someone else. Cross it. Watch Rocky. That was pretty good, too. You can cross that one off. Watch him. Just Franklin. go ahead and cross off all the movies. Alright. Get blue roses. Cross it. Visit mom. Cross it. You can get the one about dad, too. Try Hennessy. <laughs> it's sweet as shit if you're wondering. Uh, but it grows on you, though. Shit, a couple hours ahead. Oh, now there's some cow and toilet the other day. That was some good stuff. Real smooth shit. Best scotch I've ever had. I'd offer you some if I had any left. It's alright, man. Uh, you want me to get the scotch then, too? You're catching on. Go ahead and get the uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon while you're at it. Jesus, if you think Hennessy's bad, Blue Ribbon must have seemed like your slutty cousin. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. I'll give you that. Worse than Hennessy, but better than Bud. I'm not much of a beer guy anyway. Scotch and bourbon are more up my alley. We gotta be getting close to the end. What's next? Find someone. What's this all about, man? Read it. Find someone to kill me. See that bag on the table, Barry? Yeah. Open it. Uh, how much is this? Ten grand, just like the offer said. Oh, I mean, I figured it's just a... I've never seen too much cash before. What's with the gun? You didn't think I was paying you ten grand just to read a list to me, did you? Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. Carry a fucking thing nowadays. But don't you worry, that money is still about to be yours. It's so close, you should be able to taste it. That's all the money I have left right there. And it's yours. I just need you to do one more thing for me. Take that gun, put it to my head, and blow my fucking brains out. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Don't tell me you tried to order a fucking killer off of Craigslist. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Why don't they have a hitman.com or something? It would make things so much easier than having to be vague on the casual encounters page of fucking Craigslist. Listen, man, I, there's something seriously fucking wrong with you. I'm getting out of here. Ten grand to hold a gun. Please, I'll even pull the trigger for you, but you have to give me help me get the angle right. Just think about it for a second, or don't. Whatever gets you to nut the fuck up. I, I just have to hold it for you? Please. Look, it's the easiest ten grand you'll ever make. You know how many hours I had to work for all that? I'll tell you, it was a whole lot. I can't work anymore now, Barry. I can't hardly fucking walk. For six months now, I've had to watch my body fall apart. Lost motor skills my grandfather had when he died at 80 and felt pains I never would have imagined. And now, I can't even read my own bucket list. But you can fix all of that right now. Look, I literally pinched that gun off the hooker so somebody could shoot me in the face. Take that gun and put it to my head. That's all you gotta do. Hold it to my temple for one second, and I'll do the rest. I don't know, man. This is really fucked up. Just stop thinking about it. Look, I'm already dead, Barry. You're not hurting anyone. I'm nothing. There's nothing here. You pull the trigger? I pull the trigger.
Is it a mat? Everything you imagined it to be? Dying, that is? Yeah, no. I'm making you think I've been seeing this through rose colored glasses. Clown to be end eh? Good for you. This is what you wanted after all. Fuck you. Ugh. You don't sound content. Perhaps this is a sign of improvement. Your lack of satisfaction could. Fuck's sake, Doc. Sorry. I hope you don't mind me saying so, but you don't seem like someone who wants to die. Why do you think that is? I thought it would be quick. Oh, it's quicker than cancer, at least. What do you want, Tom? Just more. And what do you mean by that? I wanted more than this. I wanted the perfect death. This just seems half-assed. Shot to death by fucking accident? You gotta be kidding me. Still, this isn't so bad. This is more or less what I wanted. That said, I feel like a bitch. I'm wanting to die for all this time, and now that I'm finally getting what I wanted, it occurs to me I wouldn't mind living just a little while longer. I wouldn't mind fucking more hookers. I wouldn't mind drinking more of this scotch. And I sure as hell wouldn't mind one last chance to really tell the old man to fuck off! How about it, you cunt? You gonna let me hang around a little while longer? Fair enough. We never were all that close then, were we? Still, you are the one who made me this way. Seems like you owe me a favor or two, all things considered. Oh well. This is enough. It's kind of nice being to death. Painful as all hell, but there's a certain charm to it. Kind of like feeling myself fall asleep. Yes, all in all, this wasn't such a bad life to live. Maybe, maybe even one worth living for. Funny how things work out.